The Binance mobile app is one of the easiest and safest ways to buy cryptocurrencies through your phone. If you're new to crypto and want to get your feet wet by buying some Bitcoin or other altcoins, then I think Binance may be a really good option for you. I will show you step by step how to buy Bitcoin on the Binance mobile app in this beginner friendly tutorial. I've also made a free custom crypto trading calculator for you, which will help keep track of your investment and trading profits. And I'll show you how to get access to this later on in the video. But for now, let's get started. First, click on the link in the description or type this into your browser. It will take you to the correct Binance sign up page to get you started if you don't have an account yet. From here, you just have to enter in your email, password, then click create account. Now let's go to the home page by clicking on the dashboard button here. Next, we need to secure our account by adding two-factor authentication. There are two options, the phone verification or Google verification. I'm gonna choose the Google verification method. So I'll click here. And now you have to download the Google Authenticator app either from the App Store or from Google Play. Once you've done that, click Next. Scan the barcode from your Google Authenticator app, then click on Next. Click Next again. And now we need to confirm the two codes from the email and Google verification. Put that in and click on Submit. Here's a quick question for you. What percentage of your portfolio do you intend on holding in Bitcoin and why? Let me know in the comments section below. Now, once you've arrived to the dashboard, the next step is to download the Binance app. And to do that, we'll go to here and click on Downloads. Now, depending on the device you're using, Binance will automatically have a download button for you. So in this case, I'm on Android, so I'll click on Download for Google Play. And it will take you to the official Binance app on the Google Play Store. Now, we can click on Install and then open the app. And now we can log back into our account. Now, once you are logged into the Binance app, they will automatically take you to the Binance Lite version of the app. I really don't suggest you use this option as it is very limiting on what you're able to do. I suggest you go up here and turn that off. And while you're at it, I recommend you go and turn on the dark mode also. So for the first method, you can go and click right on this button from the home page that says credit slash debit card. It will take you to this page where you can choose the cryptocurrency that you want to purchase. So in this tutorial is Bitcoin. So I'm just going to click on BTC here. Now we want to select the currency that we want to sell. So in this case, I'm going to choose US dollars, but you can choose other currencies like the Australian dollar or even Euro. Next, you have to enter in the amount of US dollars that you want to spend. But if you don't care about how many dollars you spend, but instead you want to buy an exact amount of Bitcoin, then you can click on this button here and type in the amount of Bitcoin you want. And if you're happy with that, then click on continue. A quick reminder for you is that you won't be able to access this page unless you have already done your personal verification step. In order to purchase any cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, you'll have to pass the verification process first. There are three different verification levels and depending on which country you're from, they all have different spending limits. And here's a quick look for you to see how easy it is to go through the verification method as I've done for the first and the second level here. You only need to put in your name and address for the first verification level. And for the second level, you will either need your ID card or passport and a picture of yourself. And once you've done that, you'll be back onto this page where you can add your credit or debit card here. Click add new card, put in your details, now it will take you to this page where you can see the amount of dollars you're gonna spend, how many Bitcoins you're gonna receive, what the rate is, and what's your fee. You can see in this case, your fee is around 2%. And if you're happy with that, you can click on confirm. So if you're only buying a few hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin, then I think go ahead with this option as it's very easy and quick. But as you can see here, the fees are quite high. It's 2% here, but it can go up as high as 3.5% if you're using a debit or credit card. So if you're buying thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of Bitcoin, then I recommend you choose the second option. This method will take a bit longer for your funds to arrive into Binance, but it's gonna save you a lot on fees. In fact, the fees can be cut down to 0.075%. This is around four to five times less than the first method. Do you like the level of detail I'm providing you in my Binance mobile app tutorial so far? If yes, make sure to let me know by liking my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more high quality content that I'll be releasing every single week. So for the second method, we would click on deposit from the home page and now we would go to fiat and select the currency you're going to deposit your money from. Now we can see it's going to cost you zero dollars. It's free to transfer your fiat currency into Binance. Click here. 
Now we enter in the amount we want to deposit and click on confirm. Now this step is where you have to log in to your actual bank account and make a transfer to Binance. So you need to copy all these details and I recommend you click here to copy everything one by one so you don't make a mistake. And then very important here is you must put in your reference code. Now once your funds have arrived into Binance, you're ready to go and swap it out for Bitcoin. And this next step, you'll have to click on trade and just go to convert which is the easiest way. And now you simply choose the currency that you deposited in. If it was Australian dollars, then you would just put in AUD. But if it was USD, then they automatically convert it into Binance USD. So you would have to use BUSD for that. And now we want to convert it to Bitcoin. So we click on BTC and click on confirm. Now you need to enter in the amount of BUSD you want to sell and then click on preview conversions. And if you're happy with it, click on convert. And if you want my free custom crypto trading calculator, then just go to this link in the description below and you can get access to that from there. So this is the easiest way if you're choosing the second method. However, if you're more advanced and want to preset some buy orders or sell orders, then you'll need to use the advanced method. And to do that, we would go back and go to this spot dashboard here. You'll be presented with many different types of buys and sells here. There are limit orders, market orders, stop orders, OCOs. This is too complicated for this video tutorial, but if you want more information on how exactly to process these different types of orders, then I have this video for you here, which I guide you through step by step on how to do just this. So if you're ready to proceed with Binance and want to know the next step to take, then I recommend you go to this video. However, if you're not happy with Binance and want an alternative, then this is my recommendation. So check it out and I'll see you over there.